Welcome to Carolyn Bell Yoga. I titled this class, Give Yourself Some Care. Sometimes we need to give ourselves support to encourage ease and comfort. We will be doing a lot of uh, hips and twists today so that you can release and let go of whatever you're carrying with you. We've all been through a stressful experience during this pandemic and we need to give ourselves some care. So sit in Sukhasana and close your eyes. We'll start with a meditation. I really like this one and I hope you do too and that you'll carry it with you. Close the eyes and breathe deeply, filling the lungs and allowing yourself to settle and to calm. Bring awareness to the body and observe what is present. Do you feel any physical sensations today? Just observe, not attaching yourself to any words. Just be present and breathe. Drop your awareness out of your head and into your body. And now take one of your hands and place your hands to the top of the opposite arm, just below the shoulder. Hold on. Feel the care and support you have for yourself and relax your mind and body. Breathe and meditate upon what this feels like to be held. Release your hand back to your knee. Our eyes are still closed. Take a letting go kind of breath. Inhale and release it. Let go. And now bring your hand behind your head, right where your, your neck connects to the back of your head your skull and hold here. When you were a baby, you were held and supported here. Feel a sense of safety and ease. Now 
And now release the hand back down to the knee and take a breath. Bring your hand to the center of your chest. Feel the care that you have for yourself as you relax the mind and body. Just observe and notice the breath moving in and the breath moving out. Feel the support. And now place your hand back on your knee. Relax and breathe. Take a refreshing breath and invite relaxation to the mind and the body. Opening your eyes, bringing the hands to heart center. May you remember what it feels like to be cared for. Carry this practice with you so that you can uh, have a moment of care, encouragement, ease, and comfort whenever you need it. And then turning to the side, we're going to do some cat and cows just to wake our spine, open our, the back side of our body. Inhale and exhale, arching the back. Releasing the belly, looking forward. Cat and cow, arching the back. And then releasing, looking forward. Inhale and exhale, arching the back to cow or cat. And then releasing into cow and looking forward. Sitting back on our knees. Inhale the right arm up and over, stretching, opening. Breathing into the side body. And release the arm down. Bringing the left arm up and over. Allowing the breath to move through your body. And release the arm down. Now interlace your fingers behind you. Inhale and exhale as you bow forward. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Drop the top of the head down and then roll to the crown of the head. Arms are reaching to the sky. Inhale and exhale, breathing. Try lifting those shoulders up away from the ears. Let the arms Reach up to the sky and then slowly drop back down to our little mouse pose. Pause and breathe. <clears throat> Tucking the toes and when lifting the hips up, Adho Mukha Shavasana, Downward Facing Dog. Push into the mat. Spread the shoulder blades. Hug those upper arms in toward the ears. Look toward the knees. Inhale, let the breath expand you. Exhale, 
push into the hands, pressing the hips back, pressing the thighs back, pressing the heels down. Inhale and exhale, expand and stretch. And then moving forward to our plank pose, holding a strong plank, dropping the knees down, and then lifting the knees back up, strengthen the core. Let's try that again. Drop the knees down, lift the legs up, Strengthen the core. One more. Drop the knees down. Lift the legs up. Strengthen the core. Inhale and exhale. Drop the knees down. Drop the chest down to the mat. Keep the hands right where they are. Flatten the feet. We're pushing up to Bhujangasana Cobra and lowering back down. We're just still waking up the muscles in the body. Inhale and exhale, pushing up, halfway up, lower back down. Inhale, exhale, pushing halfway up, lower back down. Urdhva Mukha Shavasana, inhale, rise to the top. And then lower the body all the way back down. Inhale, exhale, pushing up to the top, and then lower all the way back down. Waking up the muscles in the arms, the breath in the body. Inhale and exhale, pushing all the way up, and then tuck the toes and lift the knees up and find your downward facing dog. If you need to pause for a moment and find a block, we're going to need it for Ardha Chandrasana today, half moon. Inhale and exhale. Right leg lifts, three-legged dog, toes are pointing down. Now bring the knee into the chest, squeeze it in. Inhale and exhale. Extend this leg out to the right leg out to the left for fallen triangle. Right hand moves to the center of the mat and then open the left arm up so you're facing the side. Holding and breathing, keeping the body strong. Inhale and exhale, the left hand comes down. The knee, go, right knee is back into the chest and we extend it high for three-legged dog. Squeeze the muscles to the bones, find balance. And breathe. Bring the knee to the chest. Step the foot forward. Drop the back knee down. And we rise, Anjane Asana, arms up, open your heart. Now, reaching behind you, interlace your fingers, reach back, open your heart even more. Release the hands, bring the right arm up, left underneath and around. Arundhasana arms, eagle arms. Keeping these arms, we're twisting to the right. A little different. Inhale, back up and bring the arms up as you tuck the back toes under and lift up to crescent lunge. Inhale and exhale. 
hands and heart center, prayer twist, lengthen and strengthen the back leg, that left heel presses back, Here's where you might want a block. Put it in front of you, just as an option. Moving forward, bring the left foot forward and then rise to a twist. You might want to reach down for the block here. Use it and see. If you don't need the block, maybe you can bring the hands to heart center. It's a warrior three twist. And then bringing the left foot forward, chair twist, Uttanasana. That last, uh, the warrior three twist is a bit of a challenge. So just modify and do reverse half moon. And now we keep the twist as we stand up, left heel lifts, and bring the knee up. Find an eye gaze on the floor. If you look around, you lose your balance just like I just did. And now turn the head looking forward and bring the arms up. Left hand reaches down to the big toe. Hand to big toe pose. We're opening to the side. Keep the knee bent as a modification. Tree pose, just place the foot inside the leg, bring the both arms up and down to hands at heart center. Open the arms out to the side. We're going to try a twist here, twisting to the right. Turn, turn back and bring the knee up and then step down for Tadasana. Yay, we arrive in Tadasana. Feel the firm foundation of the mountain. Inhale the arms up. Exhale forward fold. Inhale lift the heart. Bend the knees, float back, plank, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Left leg rises, three-legged dog. Pause and breathe. Bring the knee to the chest, squeeze it in and hold. Pushing into the floor with the hands and then extend the leg to the right. Place the left hand in the center of the mat and open up, fallen triangle. Inhale and exhale, bring the right hand back down. The knee comes to the chest, and then the leg goes back to the sky. Breathe. Find that beautiful balance, slowing down, offering care for yourself.
Bring the knee to the chest. Step forward, Anjane Asana, back knee drops. Inhale the arms up. And then reach back, interlace the fingers, and pull the arms, opening the heart space. Shoulders are pulling back. Release, left arm up, eagle arms, right underneath the left. Inhale and exhale. Find your center of balance, your strong core, and breathe. Keeping the twisting arms, elbows to the knee, and look to the left. Untangle the arms, let them reach up, tuck the toes under the, the, the right foot, back foot, and then lift up to the crescent lunge. Shoulders dropping down, arms slightly open. Hands to heart center, prayer twist. Lunge twist. Now that you know where we're going, maybe this next time will be a bit easier. I know it's the unknown of where you're going next is sometimes difficult. So we're working on either Ardha Chandrasana or Warrior Three Twist. It would be a reverse half moon, Pravrita Ardha Chandrasana. And now chair twist, twist, Utkatasana with a twist. Now standing, lift the right leg up and bring the arms to the sky. Petita Hasta Padakustasana, hand to big toe pose, grab the big toe, straighten the leg, angle it out to the side. If you need to keep the knee bent, that's perfectly fine. Find your tree pose. Hands at heart center. Then open your arms. And we're twisting the upper body toward the knee this time. Oops, away from the knee. Turn back. Arms up. Lift that knee up. Tadasana Mountain Pose. Feel yourself arrive on the mat. And take a vinyasa. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift the heart. Step back, plank. Chaturanga, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Taking your time to get there. Float forward. 
And from Uttanasana, we move into Utkatasana chair pose. Arms reaching forward, sit into a low chair. Kapala body breathing that's pumping the air in and out 12 times. Ready? Inhale. Go. Inhale, rise. Exhale, chair pose. Arms up. Utkatasana. Uttanasana, fold. Inhale, lift the heart. Ardha Uttanasana. Fold again. Step the feet apart. Malasana, yoga squat. Palms down, step back, plank, chaturanga. Up dog. Child's pose, Alasana, and we're going to repeat that. Downward facing dog, float forward, go right into <clears throat> chair pose, Utkatasana, arms up. Bending the knees even more. <clears throat> Dropping the hips back, bow forward. Kapala body breathing for 12. Inhale, pump it out. Inhale, forward fold, sorry. Forward fold, let's drop forward. Ardha Uttanasana. Fold again, step the feet apart, Malasana, yoga squat. <clears throat> Hands down, rise up, just leaning forward for the Bakasana crow pose, and then jump back, Chaturanga, up dog, child's pose. Adho Mukha Shavasana. Right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Step forward for Trikonasana Triangle. Right hand down, left arm up. Now both arms are reaching out to the left. Just okay. straighten those arms, reach out and feel the core holding you strong. Inhale, rise, horse pose. Arms up. Hands behind the head. I'm going to tilt elbow to the right knee, up, elbow to the left knee, up, side to side, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and then bring both arms up. Breathe deeply and then fold. Reach for the ankles. Place the hands in the middle and then see if you can fold even deeper. Maybe walk the feet out a little more. Reach the top of the head towards the mat. 
and now reach for the ankles again. Maybe the top of the head is on the mat. Keep that breath coming. And then plant the hands down, lift the head and chest. We're walking to the front, stepping back to plank. Hold. Lift the heels up. Chaturanga, hold. Drop the belly. Upward facing dog. Hold. Child's pose, press back. Pause. Tucking the toes under, Adho Mukha Shavasana, Downward Facing Dog. Left leg lifts, Three-Legged Dog. Step forward, angle the back foot, Triangle. Trikonasana, right here. Now both arms are reaching over to the right, keeping a strong core. Inhale, rise, horse pose, bend the knees. Breath coming. Filling the lungs and releasing. Hands behind the head. Now we're tilting to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. Let's do a couple more to each side. One more to each side. Arms straight up. Bend those knees. Keeping the knees bent, bow forward. Now, glide side to side. So right knee bends, left knee bends, right and left. And then come to the center, bow the head down. Forearms down, begin to walk the feet wider apart. Inhale and exhale, breathe and hold. Give yourself some self-care with the breath as you release and hold poses, letting go of tension. Hands to the mat, heel toe the feet a little bit closer in. And then walk the hands to the front. Step back, plank, chaturanga hold. Urdhva Mukha Shavasana. And then a loss in a child's pose. Tucking the toes. Adho Mukha Shavasana, downward facing dog. Right leg lifts, three legged dog. Bring the knee to the chest. Step forward, angle the back foot, Viradrasana 1, Warrior 1.
Warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Go deeper into the legs. Find strength and balance. Reaching forward and then straightening the leg as you drop into a deep trikonasana. Option, open the palm outside the ankle or the calf. Bringing the hands down. I want you to bend both knees. So you draw this back foot in a little bit and lift the heel up. The toes are both pointing forward and reach behind me, interlace the fingers. And now place the hands down and we're gonna switch the legs. So the Left foot comes up, the right foot angles back. Open into your triangle. Trikonasana to the other side. Inhale, rise. To warrior two. To find steadiness and ease in the body, Satira and Sukham. Now the back arm comes down and up, warrior one. Hands to the mat, left leg comes back and up, three-legged dog. Downward facing dog, plank. Bend the knee, elbows, chaturanga, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Inhale and exhale, pausing to breathe. Left leg rises, three-legged dog. Bring the knee to the chest, step forward. Finding our, whoops, yeah, warrior one. Forgot just a minute, warrior one. Inhale and exhale. Open and expand. Warrior two. Triangle. Bring the top arm down, one hand on either side of the foot. And now, lift that back heel, the toes are both pointing forward, and maybe bringing the feet closer together so that you can reach back, interlace the fingers or hold hands behind the legs. Both knees are bent. Place the hands on the mat. Now we're switching the legs. 
right foot in front, angle the back foot, and find your triangle. Warrior two. Back arm comes down and forward and up. Warrior one. Hands to the mat, right leg lifts, three-legged dog. And then come forward to your chaturanga, upward facing dog. Bend the knees and rest in child's pose. We're going to do another series here. So tuck the toes. You may need the block for this one, so keep it close. Downward facing dog. Right leg lifts, right like a dog. Bring the knee to the chest and step forward for warrior one. Angle the back foot, arms up. Open the arms out into a V. Now reach behind me for humble warrior, interlace the fingers, and then bow down inside the front knee. Release the arms, place the block in front of you for reverse half moon. So this left hand is going to the block and then lift up reverse half moon. Pravrita Ardha Chandrasana. Hand to the waist, look down at the mat and slowly transition to our dancer pose. Lifting up from the floor in a balance is very difficult. So if you need to put your foot down to help you get there and rebalance, do that. Dropping the left foot back, open the arms, Parsvo Tanasana Pyramid. And once more, we're going to bend both knees, lift up that back heel, and reach behind me. Interlace the fingers behind the legs. Place the hands down, move that block aside, step back plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog and repeat that series. Then we'll begin to cool down. Left leg. Step forward. Angle the back foot, warrior one. Long deep breaths. Keep them coming. Interlace the fingers behind you. Humble warrior bow. It's slow en a slow enough flow for you to really stabilize and breathe. Maybe ask yourself, what do you need right now? What comfort do you need?
Release the arms down. Once again, I recommend you use a block. Right hand in front. Lift up. Revrita Arjundrasana. Left arm up. If you lose balance, touch down. And then go right back to it. Turn towards the mat, switching the hands and rise up to dancer pose, Dhanurasana. Very challenging sequence there. Slowly drop back to Parsvottanasana. Inhale and exhale, find your pyramid. Turn both toes facing the front of the mat. Lift that back heel, reach behind you, interlace your fingers behind the legs. Feel this deeply into your hamstring. Release the hands down, move your block. Take a vinyasa or rest in child. Everyone press back to child. And then right knee comes forward for Kapatasana Pigeon Pose. We're twisting, left elbow goes down, hands at the heart, prayer twist. And now open this left arm, shoulder down, and reach overhead with the right arm. Breathe. Right hand comes back. Lift up to pigeon. And then the back leg comes around to the front, straighten both legs, and bounce the knees up and down. In the right knee, place the foot to the groin, to the inner thigh, and then reach forward. Inhale and exhale, breathing and dropping a little deeper. Another option here would be to wrap the leg around, right leg wraps around the left leg, and bound forward. This one feels a little better to me, but listen to your body and see what works for you. From here, we're moving into a side tree, I'm um, side plank. So, but it is a side tree. So left hand down. You can keep the right foot down or you can put it to the inside of the left leg. Step the foot down, drop the hips down and turn forward for a forward bend. Cross the ankles, optional plank, chaturanga. Shoot back, up dog, down dog. 
Pigeon, left knee comes forward. Kapatasana. And now twist, hands in prayer, twisting to the left. Open the right arm, side of the head down, and reach overhead with the left. Walk the hands back, lifting up. The back leg is swinging around to the front. Both legs straighten, bounce the knees. Stack pose. Dandasana. And now the left foot comes to the inner thigh or wrap the leg around, stacking the knees. Inhale the arms up and fold. Welcome the breaths, they just keep on coming. Consider the breath a cleansing agent, moving in and out of the body, releasing stress and tension. Bringing health and wellness to the body. Sliding the hands up, we're doing the side tree, side plank. So you can keep the foot on the ground or you could place it to the inner thigh. Step the foot down, drop down, turn forward, inhale the arms up, exhale forward bend. And now slide the hands back, we're going to our back for heavy baby. On the exhale, releasing the back down to the mat. And let's rock back side to side. Just massaging the back. Bring, settling on the back, bring the knees to the chest and extend the right leg straight. Reach down with the first two fingers, grab the big toe, hand to big toe pose. Pull that leg toward you. Right hand is on the right leg. And now see if you can lift up, reaching that nose toward the shin. Release the head back down, spinal twist, take that leg across the body, open the opposite arm, give a nice big stretch, and breath.
and then bend and release that left leg and lengthen it on the mat. Bring the right knee in, reach for the big toe. Straighten the leg. Option, lift the head up inside the knee calf. Relax the head down, take this right leg across the body. Spinal twist, deep spinal twist. If you need to bend the knee, bend the knee. And then bring the knee, both knees back into the chest. Nose to knee, full body stretch. Bring the arms down along the sides of the body and open the arms and legs out for your Shavasana. Ask the question, what does, does your body, mind, and spirit need right now? What kind of comfort and care? Perhaps you need to place your hands on a different part of the body to offer comfort and care, calm and peace. Ask the body, what does it need right now? Ask your emotional spirit how you are doing. Sometimes we just need to give ourselves support to encourage comfort and ease. Bringing the hands to heart center, I wish you well. Namaste.